when Pentecost Day arrived, they were all together in one place. They were all together. They were all together in one place. Suddenly. Suddenly. A sound from heaven. A sound from heaven. Like the howling of a fierce wind. Filled the entire house where they were sitting. A sound from heaven like the howling of a fierce wind filled the entire house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be individual flames of fire alighting on each one of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages. As the Spirit enabled them to speak. As the Spirit enabled them to speak. There were pious Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. When they heard this sound, a crowd gathered. They were mystified. They were mystified. Because everyone heard them speaking in their native languages. Everyone heard them speaking in their native languages. They were surprised and amazed. They were surprised and amazed, saying, look. Look, aren't all people who are speaking Galileans? Every one of them? How then can each one of us hear them speaking in our native language? In our native language. Parthians. Me. And Elamites. As well as residents of Mesopotamia. Judea. And Cappadocia. Pontus and Asia. Phrygia. And Pamphylia. Egypt. And the regions of Libya bordering Cyrene and visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism. Cretans and Arabs. We hear them declaring the mighty works of God. We hear them declaring the mighty works of God in our own languages. We hear them declaring the mighty works of God. The mighty works of God in our own languages. In our own languages. They were all surprised and bewildered. They were all surprised and bewildered. Some of them asked each other, what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? Holy wisdom, holy word. Holy wisdom, holy word.